this tan reduces cellulite are you kidding me but if you're a fake tan wearer it's life-changing i'm just gonna say it it's life-changing my before and afters are literally insane just wait until you guys find out how i get my tan this good it's literally incredible i love it everyone how are we all doing oh my god it is so hot today i'm literally melting it is literally so warm today hence my bikini top underneath here um and i decided i wanted to sit down and film my fake tan routine and a little review for you guys because i have found a product that is my new holy grail it is incredible it is insane it is amazing so today's video is actually sponsored by coco and eve which is a brand that i absolutely have fallen in love with their fake tan is hands down the best fake tan i've ever used i know this video is sponsored but honestly if i wasn't working with them i probably would still be making this video because this is just a brand that you need to try out this is like i'm not, i don't want to say life-changing because that's a bit dramatic but if you're a fake tan wearer As you can see, I've got it on now. I've got like a really nice golden glow. It's nothing too over the top. As I'm so pale, I always find it a little bit daunting to put something on too dark. So this is like a really nice, like medium to dark tan, I would say. It's like a really nice shade, very natural. I feel like you can't tell that it's a fake tan. I feel like you could easily look at me and think she's naturally that color, which is what I like to do with a fake tan. I don't want it to look fake. My number one rule is to never put a fresh tan on top of an old tan. If you're putting a brand new tan on top of an old, flaky, tiger bread tan, your new tan is going to look awful. It's going to make the tan that you've already got on look darker and the lines in between look lighter. It's going to come off quicker. Just trust me, never ever put a new tan on top of an old tan because you're just asking for trouble. Make sure your body is thoroughly exfoliated. Don't ever put a new tan on top of an old one. So I'm gonna run you through my entire routine. I usually like to tan on a Thursday, ready for the weekend. So I have like a nice golden glow over the weekend and then it fades throughout the week and week after. So on a Thursday, I will apply my tan. So that means on Tuesday, Wednesday, I will start exfoliating and scrubbing my tan off. I like to use scrubbing gloves. A lot of people like to use scrubbing mitts. Personally, that doesn't really work for me. I like to use the proper gloves because you can get in everywhere. It's like a proper hand. You can go around all the creases. You can really just get in there. And I like to soak in the bath for an hour or two, let my skin soften. Um, I just find that really helps. If you go in the bath, have a really long, warm bath, not too hot, but to have a really lovely soak in the bath let your skin soften and then go in with scrubbing gloves and just give yourself a good all-over scrub um it's just the best thing to do i also like to use a body scrub from soap and glory it just works really well i apply it to the mist i scrub it all over and i keep going until all of my tan is gone i probably need to do this like four times all over for my tan to be completely gone i don't leave a single patch on me so i like to start scrubbing on the tuesday and wednesday because it just makes sure that i have enough time to thoroughly get the tan off and if you've left your tan for long enough it will just pretty much easily come off it shouldn't be too hard to get off but i would say after the like week and a half to two week mark your tan should be ready to start coming off at least with this tan anyway because this is quite a long lasting tan i would say my tan lasts up to two weeks and it fades quite nicely so it's not like your skin starts turning into tiger red and you're like oh my god i need to get this off this fades like kind of like a natural tan wood i've not had any separation with this um so far so that's really good um and i've used it quite a few times now it seems to just fade like a natural tan wood it just gradually gets lighter it does separate in some places where i've got dry skin but other than that it seems to fade quite nicely so day or two before i'll have a good bath scrub it all off and then every time i shower i will continue to give myself a good scrub um leading up to the day that i am applying my tan so as i said i like to tan on a thursday night on the wednesday night i will lather myself in moisturizer i'll put on screen right now the moisturizer i like to use i like to use a really thick body butter like a really really thick cream uh one that's quite heavy and really just nourishes the skin so on wednesday night i will apply that all over my body like literally head to toe not my face <laughs> and just like really let that sink and let my body drink up all the moisture because tanning dry skin is never a good idea you want really moisturized nourished healthy skin you can see that my skin's got a really nice glow and that's because this tan actually maintains the hydration in your skin it helps hydrate it smooth it everything there is so much technology in this just wait until i tell you you're gonna be like what it's insane if you keep on watching to the end you will hear all about this this is literally the best fake tan ever it's like a skin product like it's like a skin treatment so it's just mad 
So the night before I will moisturise and I'll sleep in it and I'll really let my skin drink it up and then the next morning I will obviously wash it off. After I've showered I'll probably put on another layer of moisturiser and just wear that throughout the day so I know that my skin is really 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 hydrated. I like to use a body butter every single day to help maintain my tan anyway. So the morning before I tan I always make sure I have applied some moisturiser so my skin can drink it all up and be all hydrated ready for tonight. The night I'm tanning. So about eight o'clock I will head upstairs, I'll have a quick shower. I try to have my shower as cold as possible because what you don't want to do is have a hot shower so that your pores open up because that's how you get the strawberry skin. You know when you've just got those little dots on your skin? That is usually when you're tanning from opening your pores up in the shower and then tanning straight away because your pores will like drink the tan and it will go really dark in there because you can't get out once they've closed. So make sure that you have a cold shower before you tan. I like to have a quick shower just to make sure there are no products on my body. You you don't want any moisturizer on there you don't want any perfumes deodorants anything like that you want your skin like literally free of product once I'm at the shower I will go in my bedroom and I will dry myself off with a towel I will kind of scrub my skin with a towel usually I will pat dry my skin like that when I'm wearing tan because you definitely don't want to be dragging a towel down your skin when you've got fake tan on because it will like exfoliate it off basically so you want to tap dry your skin if you're wearing tan if you're trying to get the tan off give it a good rub so that night I'll give my skin a good rub with a towel just a little bit more exfoliation and then I will go in with my dry brush dry brushing has so many so many so many benefits it helps with lymphatic drainage it helps with puffiness in the body it helps with your heart your circulation cellulite everything it just really really helps with a lot in your body I would definitely recommend doing some research into dry brushing and I do that pretty much every Every day anyway but I make sure to do it before I tan because it just helps exfoliate my body. After I've dry brushed I will apply a light mist of moisturiser to my hands, my elbows, my knees and my feet. I like to use the Aveeno spray moisturiser just because it's easy, quick and convenient and it's not too heavy. It's a very light moisturiser. It's definitely not like a body butter. I'll give a quick spritz over my hands, my elbows and rub that in and just let that dry. I will wait to apply my tan then for probably an hour. I'll probably apply it about nine o'clock. So I let the moisturiser sink in and what the moisturiser is going to do is it's going to ensure that you don't have dodgy looking hands, dodgy looking knees, dodgy looking elbows, dodgy looking feet because they are the areas that tan tends to cling to. Uh, if you've got dry skin anywhere the tan will cling to it so I like to make sure that my skin is nice and moisturised and ready for the tan to go on. So I'm going to hop you over to a different me applying my tan so you can see how I do it and what I do. The tools I use is this mitt from Coco and Eve. I love this one because it's literally the shape of a hand which means you can go down your wrist, you can get in between your fingers with like the little hand thumb thing going on. I really love this compared to ones that are literally just like that. I feel like this is just so much better to have the thumb. You have more grip, you have more focus, you have more control over where the tan's going. And also this is a really thick, amazing quality mitt. It's like a velvet feel one and it also has such a thick seam. I have bought so many mitts for the pure reason that they split around the edges. This one you can feel is such good quality that's not gonna do that. And also because of the thumb, it's not gonna happen anyway. I love this mitt, it's amazing. And also I definitely recommend the Kabuki brush. It just works really well for your hands, your feet, your face. I actually don't tan my face because I use retinol on my skin. If you don't know what retinol is, it's basically an acid that takes off the top layer of your skin and just uh, helps regenerate skin cells rapidly. So if I put a tan on my face, the retinol would literally like eat it. So it'd be gone the next day anyway, so it's pretty much pointless. I wish I could put it on my face, but I can't. And this tan would work really well on your face because of the smoothing properties the blurring properties like I wish I could put this on my face please come out with a tan that you can put on when you're wearing retinol because literally I can't find one anywhere I will be your biggest and best customer so here is me applying my tan showing you how to do it all my little tips and tricks okay so I'm trying to put my fake tan on um you'll have to excuse how I look I've got no makeup on and I'm on my period so I'm really bloated so yeah, just excuse that, um, but I'm about to wear a tan on. Like I said, I keep everything in the mitt because it all fits, which is so convenient. As you can see, I'm literally as white as a ghost. I blend into the walls, so I love that for me. I've tied my top in like a really weird way to try and stop the strap lines and everything. I'm just going to show you how I do it. So I always start from the bottom and work my way up. I find it just works the best for me. So let's start with the leg area. So I don't do my feet yet. I leave that till last. So I just give the bottle a good shake. And then I add like, I don't know, three to four pumps onto the mitt. And then just start, I don't know to put my leg. And then just start going. I like to go in circular motions like so. And I like to make sure that the tan is thoroughly rubbed in. Um, I try not to leave it wet. I just make sure everything is worked into the skin. Okay. 
And as you can see, I don't do my feet yet. I leave those for now. Um, and then I will use the brush, really work it in. I think the biggest trick with this is to make sure that you really, really work it into the skin and make sure that it's thoroughly rubbed in, kind of like you would with a foundation, I guess. I would literally just say, think about how much you blend in your makeup um, and do the same with the tan. I go over my knees with a bit of a lighter coat. You can literally the difference, like look at that leg compared to this leg, it's insane. Putting fake tan on when you're wearing a bikini is literally so hard. Because of the fact there's a guide colour, it's really easy to see if you've missed anywhere, made any mistakes. It's literally so easy to do, it takes me like two minutes. My back, I just reach as much as I possibly can and then anything I can't get, I will just ask like my mom or a friend like the next time I see someone. You can see it goes on like really smoothly. I have eczema here, so like if it goes red there, that's why. I go really lightly up the neck. And don't forget the ears and behind the ears. That will be a dead giveaway. And then I use like two pumps for the arm. I start right at the top and then just work it down. Two pumps is pretty much always enough for me. You can see my X on this side of my arm. Nothing I can do about that. I need to get some more hydrocortisone cream. Work my way down. Like I said, two pumps should be enough for your arms. You shouldn't need more than that. Okay, I'm just gonna go do the little bits that you can't see and then I will back to do my hands and feet. Okay, so I've just tanned the bits that you can't see. So like my boobs, my hips and stuff like that. Um, and I've put my nightie on because personally I don't like wearing um, tight clothing while I've got my tan on. Like the bikini is quite tight. So this is me with the tan on. You can see that it's not streaky at all. Looks really nice. So now let's do the hands and feet. So the way that I like to personally do it is to pop just a pump onto the mitt. Grab the kabuki brush, dab it in, get rid of the excess, and then just go in from the wrists. Work it down nicely, down the arms, down the backs of the wrists to make sure it all goes on really seamlessly. And then I will just slowly coat it. I go in circular motions all the way up, in between the fingers, up the fingers, sides of the hands, in between again. And I also like to bend my knuckles and just dust a little bit of tan in there to make sure I don't get the white creases in between the fingers. Really, really easy. And with the brush, you really cannot mess this up because it just works so, so well. If you're putting tan on your face, then literally all you need to do is pop some on there and just go in circular motions and blend it in like you would a foundation. It's so easy. Um, and this tan would work well on the face, especially with all of the blurring technology it's got. I think it would really make your skin look beautiful. So that is me all done. My hands are done, my feet are done, and everything looks really natural. And you could literally go out like this. It's not one of those tans that look really streaky till you wash it off. So yeah, I'm gonna go jump into bed and you can hop back to the video. Okay, so once my tan is on, I like to wait at least 10 minutes to let my tan dry. This tan dries really quickly. You don't get that like sticky, horrible feeling. And you don't feel like nervous when you're putting clothes on. It's gonna like transfer because it doesn't have that like tacky feeling while you're wearing it. It dries very quickly. So I will go downstairs, make myself a drink or just do a quick tidy up while I'm letting my tan kind of sit and set. So then I will just sleep in it. This tan actually develops in two hours, but obviously the longer you leave it on, the darker your colour will be. So I usually just sleep in it. And that I usually sleep for about six or seven hours. So that's how long I leave it on. Then the next morning I will jump in the shower. Now this is a vital point I want to make. When you jump in the shower, shower in lukewarm water and don't use any products. Literally jump in the shower and just like rinse your body off. Don't use any like body wash or anything like that. Give yourself a little rinse off. Make sure you've got everywhere. The back of my neck I tend to forget. So I just put the shower on quite soft and then just like wash the back of my neck and make sure it's all off. Behind my ears I sometimes forget. And then once I'm out the shower, I don't put any deodorant on or any moisturizer or any perfume because your tan does continue to develop after you've washed it off so I like to just leave it I don't feel the need to do it anyway and then like I said I will patch dry my body I never rub my body with a towel I mean it's bad for you anyway so even if you don't wear fake tan try not to rub your skin try to just pat it dry with a towel I only ever rub it if I'm trying to get my tan off so yeah I don't put any moisturizer on that day I don't put any uh, deodorant on that day I'll just get dressed as normal and my tan is looking gorgeous literally love it and the good thing about this tan is you could actually put it on during the day and like wear it out and not sleep sleep in it if you didn't want to do that. Um, I haven't found that it transfers onto bed sheets, but, and I do have white bed sheets, but yeah, I, I just prefer to sleep in it. It's just easier. But when you put this tan on, I've actually included a clip of what it looks like before I rinse it off. It's not streaky at all. The color looks gorgeous. It looks very similar to when you've actually washed it off. So you definitely know what you're going to get. 
Um, I really like the guide colour with this. Um, so yeah, you can wear it throughout the day. It doesn't look streaky or anything like that. It looks completely fine. So that same night, I will have a proper shower, wash myself with like body wash and stuff like that. And I'll put my deodorant on and moisturise. I like to use the same body butter pretty much every single day. I like to use a really thick moisturiser to help maintain my tan. Like I said, if you've got healthy, hydrated, moisturised skin, your tan will last longer, look better, your skin will thank you. I mean, in my opinion, you should be moisturising every day anyway, even if you don't wear a tan. Um, but yeah, use a body butter, they're really good. Okay, so how to maintain your tan for a long time. One, use a product that lasts a long time, a good quality product like this one. Two, keep your skin moisturised and hydrated. Three, do a very, very light exfoliation in the shower. Four, stay out of water as much as possible. So every single day after tanning, I will apply a thick, rich cream, like a body butter. Every single day I do this without fail. And I also make sure to lightly exfoliate my body, whether that is with my exfoliating gloves and just do a really quick once over, literally just like this, up and down, just a quick once over. It helps make sure the tan fades gradually, but looks very natural as it. Uh, fades and it helps with the tiger bread look it kind of eliminates that a little bit and I also don't have baths or anything like that while I'm having a tan because as I said I have a bath to get rid of my tan because the bath softens your skin so if you keep having baths every single day it will soften your skin to the point that your tan isn't lasting very long okay so that is pretty much my tan routine how I prep how I maintain how I apply it and all of that jazz now I want to tell you about this amazing product I'm not even kidding you once you've heard this like this is going to change your life if you're an avid tanner you are going to thank me this product is absolutely incredible okay so i've written notes down on my phone because i just don't want to forget all of the stuff about this there is so much to name about this tan that i just i can't remember it all because it does so much and it's so incredible so i've written some notes down about why i like it because obviously i've been testing it out to make this video and i've been writing down little bits and bobs that i really like about it Okay, so it goes on really evenly. You can wear it throughout the day. You don't have any like streaks or anything like that. And I've never had a mishap where some part of my leg or my arm is darker than the rest of it, uh, which I do usually get with other tans. And I am an experienced tanner. It's not patchy. It lasts really, really well. And honestly, that is because this tan is made to hydrate your skin. Like I told you guys, I'll tell you more about that in a second. I also love this tan because it feels light on your skin and there are no nasties in it. A lot of tans that you find in the market have a lot of harmful chemicals. I actually used to go on the sunbeds very often uh, because I just can't tan out in the sun. I would literally have to go and sunbathe for like probably 12 hours a day to get like the slightest colour. So I used to use sunbeds and I stopped using them because obviously they're harmful. And then I did some research into fake tans and a lot of them have really, really harmful chemicals that you do not want on your skin or going into your body. This one has no nasties in it. So when I'm wearing fake tan, I usually have this weird, I don't know how to explain it. It's like my skin and then like a layer of skin that feels really dry. Like I can tell it's not my skin, if that makes sense. Excuse me, noisy boy. Excuse me, noisy boy. Yeah, so when I'm wearing fake tan, it kind of feels like a layer of skin that feels really really dry because i'm not kidding you every other fake tan i've used has dried my skin out this one has not done that like literally it's insane it also smells delicious i literally <laughs> i put this on the other day and obviously like it's really hard to reach your back when you're putting fake tan on yourself so i went to see my mom and she was like oh my god what are you wearing and i was like fake tan like is that what you can smell and she was like oh my god it smells so good and she was like it doesn't smell like fake tan and it really doesn't it doesn't have that like biscuity you know like biscuit smell and it lingers like the whole time you're wearing it nobody likes that this smells like some sort of like cocktail that smells like summer it's 100% natural DHA and it's full of botanicals and amino acid which help to deeply hydrate your skin which is why my skin stays looking really nice the entire time why it smells so good because it's got no harmful chemicals in it it's like full of good stuff which is so rare for a fake tan honestly find me another fake tan on the market that is as good as this one because you're not gonna do it you're really not gonna do it you're just not you're just not gonna do it as I said there is too many good things about this tan to mention so I have a a list of things here that I want to read to you guys because honestly it's like it's unbelievable how good it is like it's literally like it's unbelievable how good this tan is and after you've had all this you're gonna be like why why wouldn't I want this like you will never go back it is also vegan by the way I honestly won't ever be buying a different tan I'm hooked on this for the rest of my life I have never had these I've literally been tanning for seven years I've tried at least six seven eight different tan brands and this one 
has blown them all out of the water like none of them compare this is amazing like honestly this is if i wasn't working with the brand i probably would be making this video anyway because this product is just like i can't believe how good it is this tan is the world's first skin treatment and self tan formula in one formulated with zero nasties and 100% natural DHA. Sunny Honey, which is the one that I'm using here, which is the medium shade, contains no sulfates, no toxins, no silicones, no parabens, or other harmful chemicals that are found in most other self-tan products. It's 100% cruelty-free and vegan. It contains, wait for this. <laughs> It can, okay, it contains unique patented cellulite shaped formula to help reduce cellulite, blur pigmentation and perfect skin. This tan reduces cellulite. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? And my skin does look like blurred out. Like I'm not, like you can see it on camera. Like it really does look like airbrushed. Sunny Honey is infused with raw virgin coconuts, botanicals and amino acids to deeply hydrate the skin, enriched with mandarin oil to blur skin and powerful antioxidants including fig, banana, papaya, cocoa to improve signs of aging, orange peel and lotus flower packed full of vitamin C nutrients, absorb into the skin's upper epidermis to improve skin elasticity which is obviously incredible because elasticity in your body like um you know when you're pregnant and you obviously your belly stretches and you some people get really bad stretch marks and some people don't uh the people that get uh really bad stretch marks would have less elasticity in your skin so obviously having elasticity gives your body the chance to kind of expand and obviously as your weight fluctuates that can cause stretch marks because there's not enough elasticity in the skin having really hydrated um skin with a lot of elasticity will really help if you plan to have children or just like you want to avoid getting stretch marks sunny honey holds a tropical balinese mango and guava scent i told you it smelled like a tropical holiday it delivers a long lasting streak free tan with lightweight non-sticky no streaks no bad smells no stress it also comes in three carefully developed shades with color correcting actives and a green gray base for a natural golden glow with no streaks and orangey sallow tones as you guys can see i definitely don't look orange i think it looks very natural and very golden i'll just stand up so you guys can see my legs but i just think it looks very like like a very natural color I really do like I think that looks like a really natural tan I don't think it looks orange at all um this is literally like such a beautiful tan I just can't get over it oh my god guys you need to get this if you fake tan this is literally game changing it's game changing so as I said this tan has like a skin blurring technology um and one of the first times I tried it I actually went to Ikea and I looked at my skin under the light and it looked like airbrushed like it looked like i had taken a photo gone onto face tune and just airbrushed the hell out of it it looked so soft i'm gonna put it on screen here it's literally insane my skin just looked like you just wanted to lick your arm like it just looks so soft okay so that is everything i want to tell you about this tan it is insane if you fake tan check it out do some more research watch some more reviews honestly it is incredible every review you watch of this tan i watch loads and every review i watched i just saw amazing results thank you so much for watching today's video i really hope i've helped you guys out this is incredible like if you're wondering what tan i'm wearing in the future it's this one i'm never swapping my skin has never looked or felt better i feel like i'm just like i don't know glowing I'm so happy so yeah thank you so much for watching today's video thank you so much to coco and eve for sponsoring and happy tanning guys i hope you've just found your new favorite product and i'll see you next sunday with a new video bye